Boy, where are you going, the market? No, I... My parents have asked me to come live with them, and I'd like to. Oh, what do you mean, live with them? You live here with me. I'm sorry, Edward, but my father is right. You had a decent wage when you worked the farm. Why can you not be satisfied with that? With me? Decent wage? That job was near as damn it to robbery. You want to be married to a peasant the whole of your life? All right, Edward. All right. You leave now, Caroline. You'll never know what's coming to us. Caroline! Caroline! Wake up, can we? What's that about? He left this morning with the galleon, as Faith will discover a good use for this old cove ourselves. Aye, we'll make something of it in time. We could keep a fleet here if we like. And with a bit of fixing up, it'd be a decent place to call home. Might even convince my wife to come one day. You're married, are you? In God's eyes, I am. She left me some time ago. Even so, keep that fact hid away. Most of these pirates don't respect a man with higher commitments than rum and plunder. Call mine honor. Let me know if you find anything. Odd-looking things, aren't they? Old and weathered. Is this what they call Mayan? Or is it Aztec? Are you good with riddles, Edward? Puzzles and ponderings and the like. No worse than the next man, why? I think you've a natural gift for it. The way you think and work. The way you understand the world. Well, I don't know about that. You're talking in riddles now and I don't understand a word. Clamber on top of this thing here, will you? Help me solve something. Concentrate and focus all your senses. Look past shadow and sound. Ah, right. I know this feeling. I have since I was a lad. It's like using every sense at once, isn't it? To see sounds and hear shapes. Quite a combination. This earth has in them a kind of intuition hidden deep away. I've had this sense most of my life. Only I thought it was related in some way to my dreaming, or the like. Most never find it. Others, it takes years to tease out. But for a rare few, it comes as natural as breathing. What you feel is the light of life. Of living things past and present. The residue of vitality. Come and gone. Any man's senses can be tuned well past what he's born with. If he tries.
You are a gifted man, Edward. Has a strange look. Is it worth something? It's nothing you can spend. But if you find all of them, it'll lead to something grand. How many? A few dozen, I think. This way. I have something else to show you. something else just here. I think we'll take this secret much faster. Now this has the makings of a mystery. It's good, isn't it? Only wait till you see what lies at the end. Here we are. What do you think? I think Monsieur de Casse was a man of many secrets. Aye, and look here. A solid staircase leading God knows where. What do you suppose lies at the top? From what I knew of de Casse, I wouldn't be surprised to find eclectic instruments of torture and villainy. An Iron Maiden or a collection of thumbscrews. Or a pair of anguish. <laughs> Not a nice way to kick off. But that is some damn fine gear. Try the key you took from Ducasse. That's one. Only four left. Aye. It might be that these four Templars have them. See the names here? They've been sent to kill these four targets. Hang me, that's the map I sold to Governor Torres in Havana. He said it marked the location of assassin encampments. You think maybe you owe them a bit of warning, then? If you have any kind of heart beating in that chest. Suppose I could. If it leads me to the four other keys. Bad excuse is better than none at all. Leaving already. I think this cove suits you best, Edward. Better than that costume does. Oh, come on now. We're pirates, kid. We take as we please and become who we like. Self-made men. But that look ain't you. It's not who you are. Who am I, then? Hard to tell some days. All I know is you like dangerous prizes. Like the observatory. I think you know more about that than you let on in NASA. You noticed that, did you? Beat me at 20 degrees, three minutes latitude just off the coast of Yucatan. I'll have something to show you there in a few weeks' time. Oh, 
Captain. We found a trove of nautical maps and ledgers and the like, scattered about the village. You'll find them sorted in the captain's quarters of the Jackdaw. Quality stuff. Nautical maps and ledgers. That might come in useful if we decide to build up a fleet of our own. Exactly my thinking, Captain. Have a look for yourself and tell me what you think. upon the shore, then gone. Ah, to buy water. The Templars have been closing in for well on a year. Indeed, the Templars make noise with their hands and going. I prefer to take them. You will.
Captain Kenway? What is the assassin, Duncan Walpole? Dead and buried. After he tried to kill me. We are not sorry to see him gone. But it was you who carried out his final betrayal. Why? Money was my only aim. Should I find comfort in that? You murdered our brothers and sisters in Havana. He has the sense. Mentor. James tells me you treated with the Templars there. Did you see the man they called the Sage? Aye. Would you recognize his face if you saw it again? I reckon so. I must be certain. Not a word. Come on. You walked me blind and backwards into this mess, kid. Who the hell was that jester back there? Atabai. An assassin. My mentor. So you're all part of some daffy religion? We're assassins and we follow a creed, aye. But it 
does not command us to act or submit, only to be wise. Oh, do tell. I'd love to hear it. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. This is the world's only certainty. Everything is permitted. I like the sound of that. Thinking what I like and acting how I please. That's a door, I reckon. Aye. And there should be some way to open it. A mechanism somewhere. I like a capstan. Mm. Those blocks up there. Try moving them. seems to be brought. Let's find another way around. Follow on, man. Jump! Drawing breath. Enough to curse you with, kid. Great treasure beyond. Treasure? Right. Whatever's waiting at the end of this path had better be worth my time. That'll depend on you. How's that? What I'm taking you to see may spin your head right round. I only hope you can take the shock of it. I can handle myself. This it then. The grand prize your mentor asked me to see. Looks nothing like the man they called the Sage, I'm sorry to say. Keep your trousers tied up. The one more riddle to solve. These statues are like the ones we've seen before. The pictures carved on them. There's pictures carved on the floor as well, but not of the same sort. There's a correspondence there. But what? is predators. The other is prey. Which predator goes with which prey? That's the question. Right. There's your correspondence. Match a predator with its prey. Might be you can use the leaf to move them drawings on the ground. I was just about to say the same.
can win. Have an idea. Lend me a hand here, will you? Jesus, that's him, the sage. But this thing must be hundreds of years old. Older still. You're certain it's him? Aye. It's the eyes that mark him. Did the Templars say why they wanted this sage? They drew some of his blood into this small glass cube. Like this one? Aye. They meant to ask him about the observatory too, but he escaped. Huh. We're finished, dear. What the hell did I just see back there? Jim! Quiet. The statue in the temple. Was that the man you saw in Havana? Spitting likeness, aye. It seems another sage has been found. The race for the observatory begins anew. Is that why we're whispering? This is your doing, Captain Kenway. The maps you sold to the Templars have led them straight to us. And now the agents of two empires know exactly where we operate. Leave this to me, mentor. They have taken Edward's crew as well. I wonder what their lives are worth to him. Take this. You'll attract no attention and take fewer lives. on this one coming now. Quick! Quiet and effective, see? Many thanks, but no forgiveness. Labor brought these soldiers. Arms Prince. He's off me. He ain't got nothing on us. Oh, don't lose him now. Quick, he's right there. Plague and perish. He's ever happens again. Ah. 
Cheers, Cap. I may thank you later, if you manage to live through this. Let me up, Cosmo, and test me like a soldier. Who's out there? See that mangy old codger? He's a Dutch slaver called Lorenz Prinz. Living now like a king in Jamaica. Bastard's been a target for years. Bloody hell, we nearly had him. By God, you bravos are a cheery bunch, eh? All frowns and furrowed brows. Captain Kenway, you have remarkable skills. Oh, thanks, mate. It comes natural. But you're churlish and arrogant. Prancing around in a uniform that you have not earned. Everything is permitted. Isn't that your motto? I absolve you of your errors in Havana and elsewhere. But you are not welcome here. Sorry, mate. Wish it were otherwise. Cheery bunch of mates you've got. You deserve scorn, Edward. Prancing about like one of us, bringing shame to our cause. And what is that? Your cause? To be blunt, we kill people. Templars and their associates. Folks who'd like to control all the empires on Earth. Claiming it's in the name of peace and order. Sounds like to cast his dying words. You see? It's about power, really. About lording over people. Robbing us of liberty. That another message from one of your friends? Hi. I'll show you. Exactly impressed by our creed. So would the sight of money make you more friendly to our ways? As ever. <laughs> then work these contracts around the West Indies for us, and we'll pay you. As simple as that. So, 
what will you do with your share of the gold we take from Governor Torres? Return to Africa, prince among men. I cannot return to a place I've never been. I was born in Trinidad, a slave from my first breath. Ah. But wouldn't you feel, I don't know, more welcome there? As you might feel more welcome in Paris. Fair point. <laughs> with this skin and this voice, where can I go in the world and feel at ease? This country here is my best chance. This country called Jackdaw, where I know the names of all citizens and they know mine, and we work together. Not always out of love, but to keep our country afloat. I understand thee. Let's take her then. For the citizens of Jackdaw! Excellency, I'd got word you might be here. I know your face, pirate, but your name was Boro the last time we spoke. Ah, yes, I recall. Mr. Duncan Walpole. I missed that one. So, what's a Templar Grand Master doing so far from his Castillo? I'd rather not say. And I'd rather not cut your lips off and feed them to you. Two years ago, we offered a reward for the sage's recapture. Today, someone claims to have found him. His gold is his ransom. Who found him? A slaver by the name of Lawrence Prince. He lives in Kingston. We like this story, Torres. And we want to help you finish it. But we're going to do it our way, using you and your gold.
Here's how it goes. Torres meets with Prince, carrying a portion of the ransom, saying the rest is close behind. When we see the Sage, you bring in the rest of the gold, make the swap, and get out. I'll be watching all from close by. No, Ken, will you run this scheme alone at the risk of losing the faith of your crew? It makes me ill to think of you bartering with that wretched slaver. Come on, mate. Once we have the Sage, we'll all be rich. Not if young Master Kid gets to him first. Kid? Jesus. That lad's here to kill him. Edward! What the hell are you doing here? I'm tailing these men to the Sage. Can you hold off till he appears? The Sage is here. Aye. Right. And Prince is leading us straight to him. All right, Jesus. I'll stay my way for a time, but I'm not long. How long has it been since our last meeting, Senor Prince? A year? Near 18 months. You first described this Roberts fellow to me in November of 1715. Just change in that short time, you know. None called me governor, for instance, for I quit that post last year. Ah, oh, I was not aware. You couldn't help it, could you, Kemmel? Sticking your nose into things you can't understand. You're making me nervous, kid. Keep your blades corked. Just my bloody work. Two major targets, and I'm kept from killing boss. Steady, Jim. We're close. Don't worry. English? How do you mean? Is it not a sin to enslave a fellow Christian? Therefore, to transmute a slave's soul from animal to man would be tantamount to inviting one's cattle to the dinner table. Forgive my impatience, but how far is it? We are nearly there. I believe all thinking, feeling men deserve respect for the opportunity. Ah, oh, you Spaniards. Your long ties to the Moors have diluted your blood and softened your hearts. This is not to say I believe in the natural equality of all races or sexes. Surely men with talent and intelligence should lead. But there is no true profit to be gained by the practice of slavery. In the short term, it makes us money, see. But in the long term, it will render us the victims of our own success. Ah, but you and I, sir, old as we are, will not live to see that unfortunate day. So why bother? Virtue, if nothing else. Virtue? Ah, oh, Torres. I have no wish to waste my day chattering about slaves and their pitiable condition. Let us conclude this transaction, then celebrate as friends.
Other stories about you, Prusa. You were a governor in Florida for a time. See, <clears throat> see. Si, si. I am one of a number of civil servants in my family. A long line of politicians. I have always toyed with the idea of entering politics myself. Only I feel I have too much money and not enough years. Speaking of stories, Prince, I've heard it said you were with Henry Morgan the day he sacked Panama. 1671, was it? Oh, it's all true, yes. But let us not overesteem the honors forged and won on the battlefield. That skirmish was a deadly one, and a tremendous waste of coin and resources. It wasn't until many years after that I sheathed my sword in favor of a far safer and yet more profitable venture. Capital and resources, that's where money is made. And sir, let me tell you, honor bought is more enjoyable than honor won, if a touch less perfect. Not alone, but certainly without colleagues. I took passage aboard a British merchant's brig. Ah. Now's the time. Oh. Not until we see the sage. Here's a quiet spot. I'll see the money. This is a portion of the ransom. The rest is close at hand. It pains me to traffic someone of my own race for profit, Mr. Torres. Tell me again, what has this Roberts fellow done to upset you? Is this some form of Protestant piety I'm not familiar with? Perhaps another day. What? Next time, see to it that we are not followed! Deal with this! For a better cause. hands off me I can't let you kill those men kid not until I found the sage I've been stalking that pig for a week now charting his moves and here I find not one but two of my targets and you robbed me of both patience man you have your kills when I locate the sage you're helping me take Prince got that
Wouldn't you prefer meeting in a pub? I came to Kingston chasing a target. Getting pissed ain't a priority. We could work together on this, you know. It's Lawrence Prince you're after. I want his prisoner. We're after the Sage as well, Edward. Careful who you cross. May the best man win. There's guards patrolling that property from end to end. Looks to me like they use bells to signal trouble. See there? We'll want to disable those before pushing too far. With so many men about, we can't rely on stealth alone, so... I'll do what I can to distract and draw their attention. Giving you a chance to cut them down. Ready? Your name's not James, is it? Not most days. Come on. If you see Prins before I do, you do it, and there'll be a bit of coin in it for you. All right. <laughs> Hold! Stand your ground! Please! I've been shot! I need aid! Christ, Thompson, look at her! She's hurt! Dreadfully, sir. I'm poorly. All right. I'm faint. Take an arm, lass. Bless you, lads. Keep your eye. 
guys feel tonight? Since there's some men about bent on making trouble. I'll spread the word!
they hang over me like a leering crow to see an old man suffer? You've caused no small portion of suffering yourself, Mr. Prince. Retribution, I suppose. You absurd cutthroats and your precious philosophy. You live in the world, but you cannot make it move. You mistake my motive, old man. I'm only after a bit of coin. <laughs> As was I, lad. As was I. Heads up, Kenway! I found your man! I remember you. The Templar from Havana. I'm no Templar, mate. That was just a ruse. We've come here to save your ass from this slaver. Save me? I work for Mr. Prince. Well, then he's a poor man to call master. He meant to sell you out to the Templars. Oh, you can't trust anyone, it seems. <laughs> Lost your man again, did you? Aye. Roberts is a devil with a queer aversion to kindness. I suppose that's two men I've lost today. So, what's your real name, lass? Mary Reed to my mum. And them I call friends. But not a word of it to anyone. Or I'll unman you as well. 